All right, Shalom, Israel, Shalom, Shalom. You know, first and foremost, I want to give all and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And it, it's going to be a short video through the spirit. You know, I just want to touch on, because, you know, Monday, you got a so-called special holiday coming up, and so-called Memorial Day. You know, most people get off work on Memorial Day. You have people grilling. Actually, people done started grilling, you know, um, this weekend. Some people started grilling Friday and Saturday, Sunday, and they going to grill Monday, man. So some people use that day to grill and cook. But it's like, that's all a lot of people care about at the end of the day. It's eating. If you want an Israelite, if you want an Israelite man or woman to do something, whether it's good or bad, have food there. They're going to show up when that food there. You have a lot of our people just, you know, just cooking and stuff for Memorial Day or Veterans Day and don't understand, like, what's going on. People cook for Christmas, eat for Christmas and Thanksgiving and don't, do not know what's going on. Why are you doing this? You feel what I'm saying? Like, why are you cooking? Why are you eating on this day? And you have our people celebrating Memorial Day, going hard for Memorial Day. They put their red, white, and blue shirt on. Like it's 4th of July. They put their red, white, and blue shirt on. You know, put their American hat on. Do the, do the American uh, salute. They put their hand over their heart. Hey, I bet you some people probably uh, uh, play the they probably um, play the national anthem or the Pledge of Allegiance before they start grilling. Make everybody stand up before they eat. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Say their American dream, what they, what they love about America. Our people do things like this, you know what I'm saying? And not knowing, like, ask yourself, why are we celebrating Memorial Day? They say it's a day to remember the uh, the people that lost their life in war. But it's like, you got to think about it like this. And our people don't think about it like this. And our people don't want to get too deep because they don't want to believe it. We've been taught a lot our whole life. Our people don't want to believe, you know, these things. But you got to think, America is America don't care about you vets. I'm going to keep it 100. America don't care about about you um, in, in the Marines. You served for 52 years. Hey, America don't care about that, man. Half of these wars that went on, America done started it. Just to go over there and steal oil. Just to go over there and steal uh, gold and drugs from the other countries. And the other countries didn't even do nothing. They had to have an excuse, 9-11, to go over there to steal gold and oil. You know what I'm saying? But, I, but you have, you know, you have our people, right? Our people love America, you know what I'm saying? But they were just, not too long ago, marching for Black Lives Matter. Marching for Black Rights. It was it was a complaining on how a uh, uh, terrible country America is and they ain't giving us benefits. They ain't helping us out. But then they're going to turn around and celebrate Memorial Day. Then you're going to turn around and celebrate July 4th. Veterans Day. You know what I'm saying? And you have most of these homeless people I be seeing. Most of most of these homeless people be vets. You know, I'm a, I'm a um, I was a U.S. vet. Can I please get some money? You know, I'm poor. But if America truly care about it, if America truly care about they, 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 they vets, you know what I'm saying? They warriors, they go to war. How, how do they come back poor? You know, our people don't look at this stuff. How do they come back after war poor? It's thing about too, when I say so-called black people shouldn't be celebrating this because America don't care about you. It was a time in like, like the 19, like 1960s or 1950s when our people went to war, right? They had to fight to go to war because, you know, they didn't want no black people in war with them. So they had to fight to go to war. They had to fight against the other, the other, they had to fight against the, the other uh, nations. And they had to fight against the people within their nation that's in the war with them. You know, so it was a battle. It was a two-way battle. You didn't have to, you might, somebody might, you might be asleep. You have a so-called white man come and slap you in your face. Now, y'all supposed to be battling the other countries. But now you got to battle the dang people that's in, within your, um, Within your country, United States, that's, that's at war with you, you got to battle with them too. And then, after that, after that war, you might be, dang, bruised up, might not got shot, might can't walk. Then you got to come back to America to fight for a bowl to eat. To, to, fight, to fight to sit in the front of the bus. To fight to use the bathroom somewhere. So you don't have to use outside. They ain't even letting you use the bathroom. So that's the time. That's the thing. You have our people going going to war right now. But they don't think about it like that. They think about they want to go to war to get a Hellcat. To get the benefits. To get women. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the fight for this country. This country that don't care nothing about your people. So why are we celebrating this, man? You know, why are we celebrating something that, that you know, that makes us think about America, man. We shouldn't celebrate nothing that had nothing to do with America, man.
You know what I'm saying? A lot of people got mad at Kaepernick. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people got mad at Kaepernick for taking that stand. They they talking about some heat. He ain't respecting the veterans. That's what that what they made. That what they main concern was when he was taking the knee. Oh, he disrespecting the veterans. But you have America had these veterans out here homeless and trying to help these veterans out. You don't say nothing about that. People ride past veterans that have a sign up that say, "I was I'm a U.S. veteran. I'm a former U.S. veteran." You know, can you please give me some money? I'm poor. People are ride past that, but they have a problem of a uh, they have a problem when a so-called black man take a stand. And he said he he came out his mouth and said it's not he not he's not disrespecting the veterans. He said that he said I'm not disrespecting the veterans. Don't, this don't have nothing to do with them. I'm doing this for my people. My people get mistreated in America, but you have people don't want to hear that because they don't care about us. They don't care about us, man. They don't care about us getting disrespected. They do the disrespecting. You know what I'm saying? So they're not going to care about us getting disrespected. You know, you have people over there right now getting, getting ice. They have over there getting ice right now. Got a, got a cooler, all that ice, getting ice right now to put their beer in for Memorial Day. And think about it. It's a, uh, it's a nail, our brother over there right now, man. It's a brother over there right now getting ice right now. You know what I'm saying? To, to put to put in their uh to put in their beers, put their beers in to stay cool to celebrate Memorial Day. We gotta wake up, man. You know what I'm saying? We we gotta wake up, man. But we we don't we don't we don't care to celebrate the Lord's holidays. We don't care about celebrating, you know, the Day of Simon, Feast of Tabernacles, Day of Atonement, the New Moons, the stretching of Nicanor. We don't care to celebrate these days, but we'll celebrate damn Memorial Day on a heartbeat. People start planning two weeks for Memorial Week. They start planning two weeks for that. They'll go out of town, probably go to Miami, go to Atlanta, you know, go to uh, California. They get the, 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 they'll celebrate Memorial Day. Look at that. I'm see if I can zoom in. Are people over there, man. You know what I'm saying? But you have... Our people be quick to do that, you know, and then that's like you gotta, you gotta really think about this thing, man. Cause America had you doing some crazy stuff. If you don't never question nothing, if you don't never think, why am I doing this? Why have I been standing for the flag my whole life? And they've been killing our people, mistreating our people. America have you looking like a fool, like a clown, telling you, right, wait till the Fourth of July come. You're gonna have our people looking like freaking clowns, bro. Just head to toe like American flag. Hey, some people might, hey, some of our people might roll themselves up in the flag. Put the flag around and roll themselves up in it. I'm a, I'm a happy American. But then, because our people don't know what they want to do, our people don't know what they want to do. Because then, then when when the, when the um, when the innocent black man gets shot by the police, then they want to march. Say America ain't never done nothing for us. We don't never get no. We don't never get no rights. We always get treated unfair in America. We'll march all day, but boom, soon the Fourth of July come, shoot them fireworks. Pow. Got the kids looking up at the fireworks. Pow, pow, put that American hat on. But you, sister, brother, you were just marching not too long ago for the um, injustice of our people. But then when 4th of July come, then when the Memorial Day come, when you off of work now, now you can get, you can eat and grill. That's when you want to celebrate it. You know what I'm saying? We got to get right in this thing, man. And no black and Latino should be celebrating none of these days. Black and Latinos shouldn't be celebrating Memorial Day because America don't care nothing about you, man. They using you as loud rats. They got you damn fighting a war for them. And they 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 cricket. They by and behind doors, they being cricket. They using you to, to get they get to get their job done. You you are you a loud rat to them. You a dang uh uh what is called, what the word I wanna use? You a um what's the word? You a uh a body bag or a human punch bag. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They using you or a decoy, whatever. I don't know what word I'm trying to use, but you know what I'm saying? The America is using you to do their dirty work. Because going back to 9-11, you had people thinking like, oh my God. Well, I can't remember a name that they say did that. But you had people looking at him as the enemy and you had people crying and all that. Oh my God, why they did that? We got to go to war. You have America going over there, going to war. Not knowing if you look into the history of that, it was an inside job. Look into look into it. Look into 9-11, man. 
it was an excuse for us for the so-called americans to go over there and get the gold and the oil and the things they had over there and bring it back over here to make money america hey america always been doing wicked stuff man this country was built off blood shit, so it make you think there ain't gonna be no wickedness behind the stuff that they do on a daily basis On a daily basis, it's wickedness going on in this country, man. So you black and Latino shouldn't be standing for the flag, saying the Pledge of Allegiance, putting your hand over your heart. You shouldn't be saying the national anthem, which our people was in slavery when that was written. You shouldn't be, you shouldn't be affiliated with nothing that America got to offer you. Because at the end of the day, boom, you go to war, cool. You go to war, fight for this country. At the end of the day, when you get hurt, you get bruised up. When you homeless, they ain't not gonna care about you. Just like they ain't, just like how, just like, just like how a lot of these football coaches is. You know, they will use you. You you athletic, right? They will use you, right? They will use you. They will use you. But when you get hurt, you can't do, you can't run that football no more, or throw that football. They are gonna replace you with somebody else, another uh, so called black, uh, another so called black brother that's that's just athletic as you is. Same thing with the Army and Marines. You can't do it no more. Cool. You you homeless. You a veteran. Cool. I get I get somebody else. They can take your spot. Then they give you a little bit of benefits. But you already crippled for fighting for this country. You know, and I feel like that's that's on the real talk. That's real coonish for you to for you to go. I feel like for you to go and fight for this country that done did your people nothing but gave your people nothing but pure hell. I think that'd be. I think that's real coonish, you know, to go fight for this country. And that's the only thing that they give our people, though. You know, when you graduate, to go to go to the army. You know what I'm saying? Go to the army. That's the thing that they give our people. Go to the army. They want our people to go to the army. You have army recruiters coming to high school and try to talk to us about going to the army. That's all our people think about and all our people know because they're telling them you can get benefits for this. You know, you get to do this, you get to do that. But you got to have more. You got to have pride, man. You gotta have enough pride to be like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not going, I don't care how many benefits you give me. I don't care if you give me this. I don't care if you give me this. I'm not doing that because, you know, what y'all did to my people. I'd be a coon and I'd be a disgrace to my ancestors and to the most high Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shah if I go and fight for this country that did nothing but gave my people hell. You know, so this is just a video for you to think about that, man. For the people that is trying to celebrate Memorial Day tomorrow and celebrate the 4th of July when it come up and Veteran Day when it come up. Just remember, you black and Latinos, I'm talking to you. Remember, or think about this. What have America done for your people for you to fight for this country and you to celebrate these holidays that they give you? What have they done for your people? You know, so with that, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashimi, Hawashah. I say Shalom, Konyashuramim.